Now I'll get back onto the order that's on my running sheet and uh, I'll ask Will Darcy to come along. Thank you, Will. Sorry to first item I got this. First of all, I would like to thank you all for making your way to Natar today to celebrate this decision by Natar residents to declare their area and Sydney Water Catchment coal seam gas mining free. I particularly would like to thank the Natar residents for unanimously supporting our desire to have this area declared CSG, CSG free. I'd like to thank Mayor Carl Mitchell and the Wool and Dilly Council for their continuing support for what we are trying to achieve here. There are two councillors on our committee, Judy Hannan and Simon Landau, who have been more than generous with their time and advice over the past nine months. I'd like to thank Brad Staggs from the Council's Environmental Services Department, who's a very busy man, I have found, but still finds time to deal with me testing him. Finally, I'll mention the Honourable Jeremy Buckman, MLC, thank you Jeremy, for joining us today and for his help throughout the year. If I may point out, beyond the valley here, above that escarpment, just over there, is World Heritage listed Greater Blue Mountain National Park. Surrounding Natai, where we are here, is Sydney Water Catchment Special Area Schedule 1. Oakdale and Warragamba are Schedule 2. Petroleum Exploration Licence 454, operated by the Apex Ormal Energy Consortium, cover all these areas, and that includes part of the World Heritage listed area behind me. These areas have been protected for decades, for good reason. This is Sydney's drinking water supply. We are not allowed to enter these areas. People who live here are restricted in what they can do. It is the declared intention of the New South Wales Government to allow 150 plus wells into these special areas to drill and extract coal seam gas, methane gas. 150 is the beginning. These wells, as I understand it, have a history of multiplying. This coal seam gas industry is unsafe, and it is also nigh on impossible to regulate. There are over 160 community groups, like ours, with thousands of members around this country who believe that that is the case. There are plenty of scientists and environmental lawyers, experts in this field, who will back our case. But here's the thing, and I believe it is the crux of the matter. It is not up to us to demonstrate that this industry is unsafe. It never was. It is up to the government and mining companies to prove to us that it is safe. And that is something that they have manifestly failed to do. They are the ones who seek to come into water catchment to drill hundreds of wells vertically and horizontally through vital underground aquifers, depressurize a coal seam to extract a toxic waste in order to benefit from the resource underneath. Until they can prove beyond any doubt that it is safe to do so, the New South Wales government and mining companies have no business coming near any water catchment, or for that matter, farming communities or residential areas of this state. Excuse me, to say otherwise would be, uh, I believe, indefensible. The New South Wales government needs to realise these community groups are not going away. In fact, they are increasing in number. Councils around the state are making their opposition known to the state government on this issue. I firmly believe the community groups acting together with local councils are a powerful force and our best chance of prevailing. Finally, despite all the bad news emanating from the New South Wales government lately, I for one remain hopeful that we can prevail. There are some, I am sure, New South Wales, New South Wales parliamentarians on all sides of politics who are uncomfortable with these latest decisions. And we can build on that. Meanwhile, we will continue to do our best to lock this industry out of this area. We have already started canvassing residents for a CSG free Oakdale. Following that, it will be Warragamba, Silverdale, and beyond, should anybody want us to do so. Let's see then if the New South Wales government will ride rock over the wishes of all these people. Thank you, and thank you, Natalie.